Hello again, everybody, and thank you so much for coming back to watch another one of my YouTube oyster shucks. So this is going to be another purple shuck. All of these are purple oysters. Um, they are the light purple, and I am particularly looking for the beautiful, perfect light purple pearl. These guys here can have a tendency to have kind of just a pinkish tone to the purple so it's more like magenta or you know just a pinky purple and I have so many customers who absolutely love the real beautiful true light purple and so that's why I shuck so many of these guys at one time so that I can find the beautiful purples that my customers want. So let's see what beautiful one we have this time. Oh, look at it, guys. It is the perfect, beautiful purple. First one and got the color I wanted. Let's hope there's so many of this color in this shot. Oh, and look guys, I am using a light gray sand this time. I ordered this online and I was hoping it was going to look awesome in my YouTube shucks because I don't like white and I don't like black sand. So I'm thinking the light gray is going to be perfect. It looks pretty good so far. Let's see here. Where are you at? Oh, there it is. And look, another beautiful light purple. Oh, the shuck is looking good so far. I have two beautiful purples. I hope the whole entire 30 are this beautiful purple. It would be so awesome because I have so many ladies wanting these and I never have enough to go around. I might just have to order like a hundred of them and do like a hundred oyster shuck, purple shuck. Oh, look guys, another one. Oh, I love these so much. Hands down my favorite, favorite color. And these are so I'm not going to say rare, but they're rare-ish because, like I said, they have a tendency to have pink in them sometimes, like a pinky color. And when you find the true purple, oh, so lucky. This is going to make me wish I would have gotten more than 30. And another beautiful purple four for four so far. And I quit using water. It seems like it works out pretty good not dipping them in water because when I dip them in water, even though I dry them off, they're just really wet. And then all this sand like clumps to them and it turns into this huge mess afterwards. So it's working out pretty good. See, there's one of the pinky purples I was talking about. It's like a magenta kind of color. More purple than pink, but the pink is still there. And so I can't call those true purple. And that's why I shuck all of these guys. So I can find the true purple, but these are just so stunning. That one's actually a really, really purple magenta. It's beautiful. Where are you, Pearl? Right here. Oh, another beautiful purple. It's gorgeous. Oh, and you guys, I'm so excited. I finally got my ring settings and my necklace settings in. So now I can start mounting my own rings and jewelry. And I am totally going to be using some of these beautiful purples. And I have the prettiest 
ring settings ever. They're sterling silver and all of my rings are going to be adjustable so it'll fit any finger. And my necklaces. Oh, they're so pretty, you guys. I can't wait. I am going to mount my jewelry this weekend and during my next pearl reveal next Tuesday I am going to show off my jewelry oh it's going to be so awesome I've been wanting to do this for a long time but I just have no time to do anything and so I had to make time for this and it's going to be so pretty I opened it and I did a, a test mount and oh it's so pretty I love them and oh you guys almost all of these are coming out the most prettiest purple ever I am super stoked I'm kind of just going all crazy with my pearl placement today since I never can get them in straight lines anyways. Ooh, look at that beauty. So stunning. Such a pretty dish so far. I see this one poking through already. And it is the most beautiful shade of purple ever. It is such a vibrant light purple I think that one is going on one of my ring mounts or maybe one of my necklaces so I have this really pretty necklace and the pearl is inside and then surrounded by it are little crystals um it's the name of them slipping my mind right now but it's the little crystals that look like diamonds so anyways it's the prettiest sparkliest necklace ever it's so pretty I wish I would have had those for Christmas but that purple one there would be so stunning I'm hoping to have those new rings and necklaces on my store sometime this weekend but it just depends on how my schedule turns out and this one, another beautiful purple. Oh, this is the hands down prettiest shock ever. I like this one even more than my last purple oyster shock. Another beautiful purple. Oh, you guys, I wanted to tell you, if you haven't already, you should definitely go over to my Facebook page and like my page, but also join my group that I have attached to my page. It's free because it's just a Facebook group like any other group, you know, um, but I post exclusive coupons and stuff like that for the members of my group so every once in a while I post a 20% or you know just some kind of really neat sell and it's exclusive just for my ladies in my group on my Facebook group so you just go to facebook.com slash Maddie's Pearl Party I'll put the link down in the comments and 
go on there and join my group and you can show off your pearls and all kinds of fun stuff. It's just a neat little group for pearl lovers. And then a bonus is that you get some really awesome percent off coupons. Oh, I have my eye on that one right there for one of my mounts. It's going to be so pretty. Wow, another beautiful purple. I hit the jackpot today. This is so awesome. Oh, and I also wanted to tell you guys that I will be getting more Edison's. Look at that one. I will be getting more Edison's back in stock here in a couple of weeks. I have sold completely out of my Edison's. So if you guys have been going to my store looking for them, I just don't have any inventory. So that is in the works. And... I will have lots of really beautiful colors and I'm even thinking about trying to find a mount, probably not a ring mount because that would be an absolutely huge ring. If you had a big 11 millimeter Edison on your finger, that would be huge. Um, but maybe a necklace mount would be so pretty with a big, beautiful Edison pearl as the centerpiece. So I have to look around though, because most of these mounts are meant for the smaller pearls, like Akoya pearls. I'm also trying to find out if I can have some custom cages made. Wow, look at that one. I want to find out if I can have some custom cages made for my big Edison pearls too, because right now I do have a very limited selection of cages that will fit the Edison pearls. It is snowing like crazy outside right now. All of our snow melted. Oh, there's another beautiful one. All of our snow melted completely the past week. And because we've had a lot warmer weather than normal. And, and then all of a sudden we get another 10 inches of snow overnight. And now we, we're getting another like eight. Um again over the weekend so winter was like well I'm over and then it said nope I changed my mind here's another foot of snow oh that one's gorgeous which I totally don't mind because I love snow so beautiful I wasn't quite ready for winter to be over yet oops That one fell out of the meat. That is a beautiful, very light, super light purple. Okay, getting to the end of our shock and my dish is absolutely full of beautiful purple pearls. And there's another beautiful purple. We have seven oysters left. Wow, that one's buried way deep down in the meat. There is a beautiful magenta. 
can't see it because it's covered in meat. Wow, that one is a hot pink. Look at that. Out of all those beautiful purples, I get a random hot pink. That was pretty neat. Gorgeous purple. Absolutely love. And this one. Beautiful purple again, of course. I got so lucky with this shuck. I really, really did. Almost all of them was the perfect purple pearls. Stunning. Love it. And I only have three more left. Beautiful. I'm not sure that almost almost looks like magenta, but I don't know. That might just be a really, really vibrant purple. That's what it looks like. That one's going to go on one of my ring mounts too. So pretty. And last one. Hopefully we saved the best for last. Oh, it is a beauty. What a gorgeous, gorgeous shock. I could not be any happier with this one. Let's check them out, guys. Look at these stunning purple pearls. Aren't they absolutely beautiful? The whole dish, just about the whole dish, except for that rogue hot pink over there, it was this beautiful, perfect shade of light purple. I love them. So I also wanted to show you guys my other dish of loose pearls. This dish here has Edison's in the middle, the really big ones, and Akoya's are the small ones. So all of these guys are for sale. The big Edison's are 22 each, or if you buy more than one, they're 20 each. And the Akoya's are $8 each. And shipping is always a flat rate of $3 for no matter how many pearls you buy. So let me show you guys my beautiful pearls. Aren't they gorgeous? They are so 
pretty. I love them. And the purple pearls are $9 each, guys. So those are the loose pearls I currently have available. I am going to post a picture of them on my Facebook page. So if you go over there, you'll be able to see a better picture. And you can email me at maddiespearls at gmail.com. That will also be down in the comments if you would like to order. My loose pearls do go really fast though. So if you want to get in on some of them, you don't want to wait too terribly long to email me. Okay, everybody. Well, thank you so much for coming and watching another one of my fantastic oyster shucks on YouTube. And I will see you guys all again on Tuesday for my next pearl reveal. Bye.